Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done a video and my reasons are twofold. First of all, work at the hospital has been very, very busy. Um, really enjoying it, but um, but no, it's been it's been quite busy. I've learned so much in such a short amount of time, um, and uh, the product's going really well so far. And uh, second reason being, I can never quite find uh, an opportune spot to film one of these video blogs because um, well, you can never find quite a private spot because. People hear you so they think, talking to yourself, and um, for some unfathomable reason they draw pretty bizarre conclusions about your sanity, or lack thereof. <laughs> no, I'm not, uh, I'm by no stretch of the imagination am I in a private spot right now, in fact, um, I'm out in the middle of the city, I'm in Federation Square, uh, which is a um, sort of a hub of activity here in the city, right across from Flinders Street Station. Um, in fact, it's kind of a good thing I'm filming this here because it's something I want to show you guys. So here in Melbourne, obviously it's it's um, winter here in Australia, um, and uh, and here in Melbourne they have uh, something sort of sort of akin to the national Christmas tree, you know, in DC. Um, it's not an actual tree, but it's here. I'm going to try and get it into the shot. That's it. And basically, it's this electrically wired false tree with um, sound sensors on it and every evening, I think uh, throughout the month of June uh, they have choirs who come and sing as they put it, sing up the tree and the sound sensors pick up the music um, and the tree uh, as a result flashes different colors so I've not been for that yet but I'm hoping to go, it's I think June 30th it goes to the end of June so um, I'm hoping to go at least once and see that this uh, whole tree will flash uh, different beautiful rainbow colors so um, so that that should be that should be quite a sight to see and I'll take photographs uh, speaking of photographs I've actually been doing quite a lot just haven't bothered to post any of it on Facebook <coughs> excuse me on Facebook um, I've been to St. Patrick's Cathedral um, it was really really beautiful actually uh, I went one day after lunch and um, and just lucked out actually on the time of day that I went because St. Patrick's, one half of St. Patrick's is done all in um, stained glass windows and the other side um, is done all in yellow windows and I went at the time of day when the, the sunlight was shining directly through the yellow windows and, um, and uh, brownie points to whoever designed that, that building because um, when, the, when the sunlight comes directly through, through the yellow windows the whole place um, takes on a golden hue um, and, uh, and you almost feel like you're, you're standing in, uh, in a sort of ethereal, uh, ethereal place, you know, everything, everything um, becomes sort of, becomes golden. And so I got some really good photographs out of that, um, which I will post tonight, I promise. Um, where else have I been? I've been to the Victorian Art Museum, which is uh, just down the road from here, actually. Uh, I went last weekend. And um, a lot of um, I, I really enjoyed the actually the 19th century um, European art exhibits. There was a Monet exhibit, but I'm not a I'm not a uh, huge fan of impressionism, so I, I skipped over that. Um, and um, and looked at the the 19th century European exhibit instead, and that was great. I had photographs from that as well. Um, in fact, actually, as we speak, I just came out of the the Acme, um, which is the Australian Centre for the Moving Image. It's actually here across the square, I'll show you. Um, can I get it in? There it is. Where the, where, the red, um, where the red plaque is over there. So basically, they had a um, Hollywood costume exhibit. Uh, I just came out of it. It was really magnificent. Uh, they had so many costumes from different films throughout um, cinema, cinem cinematic history. Um, some of my favorites. They had um, they had the costumes from uh, the Iron Lady, which was a fairly recent movie. They had um, one of uh, Dorothy's gingham dresses from The Wizard of Oz, which is one of my favorites. Um, they had Eliza Doolittle's and Henry Higgins's costumes from My Fair Lady. It's another one of my favorites. And um, and no, it was it was really brilliant. There was quite a range of things in there. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take pictures, um, so I can't 
personally share any of it with you. But uh, but no, it was absolutely brilliant and definitely worth seeing. Um, yeah, so t my time in Melbourne so far has been really good, very busy. <coughs> Even on the weekends, as you can see, there's, there's so much to do here. Today I, I uh, walked around a bit, um, went to this museum, saw a street show. There was a guy doing a magic show, actually, in Fed Square earlier on. Um, and, um, and yeah, so there's plenty to do even on the weekends. And work has been going well. The project is going actually very well. My um, research partner, my, my re research partner is a, is a lady named Sophie. And um, she's really sweet. She's been the first, um, first or second day that I, that I worked at the hospital. Um, she took me on a walk after lunch and, and basically took me all around the city. Um, so I've got a good, I've got a good uh, feel for, uh, for everything. So uh, yeah, Sophie, she's a really, really cool lady, and um, and it's it's quite amazing. We have we have we make quite a team because um, even for all the for all the chatting that we that we do, we um, we get a lot of work done miraculously. So no, yes, yeah, so I'm really enjoying the work, um, and not much else. The Australia is very different. Um, the culture is very very different. Um, I mean, everything. If something as basic as you know, people drive on the opposite side of the road here, uh, which was difficult to adapt to because I'm, I'm used to looking left and then right before I cross the road. Here, you've got to look right and then left, otherwise you really, you really will get hit by a car. Um, so I, uh, that's something I learned pretty quickly. And um, people talk very differently here. Uh, just in a in an average day, you run into um, a range of very different colloquialisms. Um, the most blatant one, the, the one that hit me, I think, first, is when you tell someone thank you here, uh, they won't say you're welcome. And it's it's not because they're particularly rude people or anything, no, on, on the contrary. Um, it's uh, their substitute for, for you're welcome is either no worries or that's all right. Um, which um, that's all right to me sounds like some kind of consolation. Um, so it sounds a bit out of context uh, to me. But no, it's their, it's their equivalent of you're welcome. Um, let me see what else. Australians like to abbreviate absolutely everything. So um, McDonald's is called Mackers here. Or I guess if you've got an Australian accent, it's Mackers. Um, they have uh, the equivalent of Burger King here. With, it's got the same logo, but it's called Hungry Jacks. Um, one really funny thing. I have not seen a proper pickup truck since I've come here, and I guess city goers don't usually drive pickup trucks, um, but um, what's really odd is that the Australians have sort of a substitute for a pickup truck. It's called a ute. Um, it's short for utility, again with the abbreviating things. Um, and basically, if you can imagine a Camry with the back just knocked off, so it's essentially the size of a regular car. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's essentially the size of a regular car, um, but just with the back totally knocked off. So it's a it's a mini pickup truck. Um, I call them wimpy pickup trucks because they're they're really not. I mean, if you actually wanted to carry things, if you wanted to lug things around on, on one, um, you'd be hard hard pressed for space. I think. Um, so they're very tiny. Um, there are a lot of phrases I use. Actually, a, a, a lot of people I've met have told me how American I am, which, as you can imagine, is something I'm not used to hearing. Um, Sophie, my research partner, um, says she loves to listen to my American accent, and I and I look at her in surprise. Um, there are a lot of phrases I use that I didn't realize were American. Um, my research director asked me the other day what jaywalking was, uh, and I explained it to him. I don't think Australians have a term for jaywalking, which sort of makes sense because they don't jaywalk that much. Um, the only person, uh, well, Sophie actually is the only person. She'll just go ahead and run across the road. Um, but she's the only person I'll, I've met around here who, who really do that. People are good about about only walking across the street when um, when the pedestrian sign is going. Um, which, if like me, you live in Charlottesville and we and we run across the road, you know, just whenever. Um, not jaywalking is pretty outlandish behavior. So, um, but it makes sense. I mean, Australians they kind of at least in the city they kind of drive like like lunatics. So you really do have to wait for the for the pedestrian sign to, to cross the road. Um, that, you see, now that I'm trying to think of Aust Australian colloquialisms, now now I can't think of any. I'll really have to make a list and do another video. Um, 
my research director once he asked me if I had a flash drive, but he didn't call it a flash drive, he called it a speed stick. Which maybe it's just me, but that sort of makes it sound like makes it sound like some sort of men's deodorant. Speed stick. Is anyone else hearing that? Um maybe that's just me. But um, so that was another odd one. Um I'll have to think of some more and do another video. But um, otherwise everything's going well. And uh, do, if you're watching this, do comment and let me know how everyone's doing back home because I really do miss you guys. And, um, and I promise I'll be more faithful about doing videos and posting photographs. It's just this couple of weeks have been absolutely huh. So, um, yeah, so I will, uh, I'll do a video hopefully once a week at least. And uh, I hope to hear from you guys because I miss you. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.